For the first time in more than 35 years, Vancouver's new mayor is an independent. Kennedy Stewart didn't represent any of the city's municipal parties, but he is a former NDP MP. They voted for a plan that is bold but achievable. Stewart ran a campaign which focused on a key concern for many Vancouver voters. Housing was big um, because I'll never be able to afford to have a house in this city, so that's also concerning. I think that a lot of the land restrictions need to be changed. If we added a couple more stories into high density areas, I think that would really help. Part of Stewart's plan includes building 85,000 homes over the next 10 years, a third of which would be rental housing run by nonprofits. He's also proposed tripling the empty homes tax, a measure designed to curb speculation. When you talk to people on the ground, they are hurting. Their rents are going up, they're moving out of the city and, and small business is feeling it. So that's that's going to be the number one priority. But moving forward on those promises could be difficult. The 10-person council is divided on how to deal with the lack of affordable housing. Half of the elected councillors are from the NPA, the Nonpartisan Association, a party that's right of centre and generally perceived as being pro-business. This has been a very unprecedented election. Its candidate for mayor, Ken Sim, lost to Stewart by fewer than 1,000 votes. It will really depend on what Kennedy Stewart can talk people into supporting. Frances Beulah is a journalism instructor who specializes in city politics. Whether everyone on council, especially the MPA councillors, will be willing to commit that level of city resources to below market housing, that's going to be the question. And that will become clearer once the new mayor and council get to work after being sworn in on November 5th. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver. Two other provinces are holding municipal elections this week, Manitoba on Wednesday and tomorrow, Ontario. A number of races there could be especially interesting. Here are three to watch. We don't believe in more politicians, more bureaucracy. Toronto voters will elect only 25 councillors. That's down from 47 in the last election. Ontario Premier Doug Ford made that change, and it pits several current councillors against each other, so the new council will look different. And as John Tory seeks a second term as mayor, he's being challenged by his own former chief planner, Jennifer Keysmat. We need to be more aggressive on economic development. Instead, we have seen the slide get worse. Many are watching to see if Patrick Brown gets back into political office. He's running to be mayor of Brampton after he was forced out as Ontario Progressive Conservative leader over allegations of sexual misconduct. With ranked choice voting, you don't just vote for one candidate. And a Canadian first in London, Ontario. Voters there will use a ranked ballot to indicate their top three choices for mayor and councillor. In each race, the candidate with the fewest votes will be eliminated and the ballots recounted until someone gets more than 50% support.